So here's an interesting thought experiment. Do we have the capacity to change the past? Now, at first, this sounds like a contradiction, a total paradoxical idea. I mean, how could you change something that already happened? But think about it. Why does the past matter at all? What do we get to keep from something that already happened? Well, we get to keep the memory, right? Supposedly either the bliss or the trauma. It, it's, it's really the memory that we're talking about here, the story that runs on a loop in the back of our minds of what has happened. And somehow, the fact that what has happened has shaped us and will shape our future. We feel in a way haunted or condemned to be a certain way because of what has happened to us. Epigenetics tells us that we are the sum of our experiences, that we, that our cells are a technology that turns experience into biology, that everything that happens to us lays itself like tire tracks, tattooing itself across our body mind and literally making us the product of what has come before. And yet, and yet, here's something amazing. Our cognitive framing, our interpretation, our use of rhetoric and language to frame our past experiences can actually allow us to change our very past experience. <laughs> so, so the story we tell, the story we choose to tell about what has happened can change what has happened. Listen to that again, because they've actually done studies that tell us that the cognitive framing that we give to experiences can change our physiological response to those very experiences. So an experience of trauma seen through a certain lens can physiologically create stress response, right? Cortisol, stress hormones, anxiety, all these things. But people who do, for example, psychedelic hypnotherapy and revisit the trauma through this altered state of consciousness are all of a sudden able to change that story, change their chemical response to that past experience, recontextualize it and see it through a different lens and fundamentally change the past. You know, there's a great line by Tim Duty that says that experiences that are transformative in nature, that allow us to change the cognitive framing of who we are and where we're going in this life and where we've been, um, are experiences that recontextualize the self as a marvelous conduit in a timeless whole from which molecules and meanings flow, from neurons to nebula and back again. And in recontextualizing who we are and what we're doing and everything that happens to us, even when it hurts, and even when we fall off the bicycle in Amsterdam and like literally get caught up. The fact of the matter is that story has now rendered me a stronger being. It is something that has happened and that I, ha I have overcome. I have not choked on my introversions. I have in fact reworked the experience and output it in a work of art. I am more than what I was because of what has happened to me. And this decision, right, this decision to lend that cognitive framing, to lend that interpretation to a traumatic experience of the past has allowed me to change the past and therefore to sort of change my future and decide my fate. I design, therefore I become. Again, beautiful idea, my friends. We are empowered, we are enraptured, we are beings that move through time and space and space and time and mind and future and past and present. These are basically just elements of a continuous field of time. They don't exist. They are illusions. And you can choose the story you tell, my friends. You can choose the story you tell.